Hey everybody, this is Jamie with Aviation Laser Services and I just wanted to give this demonstration about uh, laser technology, how precise it's become and um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you how I can take paint off of this aluminum aircraft. This came from, um, I forget the, the type of aircraft, but you can tell it's, it's got the rivet line and everything around it, which is the difficult part of getting around, which is why I've been demoing this piece. But anyway, I'm gonna, uh, the reason why I want to show you this is because there's a lot of misunderstanding in the industry. Uh, these FAA service stations and the, uh, any company that's involved in restoration, paint removal, and so forth, they're going to want to hear this because there's a lot of misconception and misunderstanding. Um, in FAA regulations, the only guideline, this is under the maintenance section, the only guidelines about removing paint from aircraft is there's three different methods, chemical, sandblasting, and, uh, and sandpaper, and so forth. But the, the main thing is heat buildup. So if you're sanding on something and you sand it in, in an area too, uh, too long or too hard, you're going to build up heat. It's going to take the temper out and it's going to uh, disable or uh, deform the aluminum. You don't want that. So that's the only thing in, in FAA guidelines, heat buildup. Now, if I walk into a shop and say, I got a laser, I want to take paint off, they're immediately, they're immediately going to think, you know, heat. There's no way you're coming near my aircraft. Now, I'm going to show you this because of the misunderstanding of what's go what goes on here. This is called laser ablation. And it's a different thing because when you see how I can take paint off of here and not burn a piece of paper, I'll take the ink off of it, but I won't burn it. Now, watch this. Let me get, my, let me get set up here and zoom you guys in. got to turn on the exhaust system. We don't want to smoke ourselves out. All right. Now I'm just going to pretend like I'm doing a rivet, a little small area for a rivet. Alright, that's gone. Paint, paint completely gone. No heat whatsoever. I'll do it one more time. Alright, all gone. No heat anywhere. Nothing. Just a little warm. Now, I'm going to show you this piece of paper here. It's just a regular piece of paper that came off of my printer. Nothing special about it. No fancy ink. Same thing. Hold on, I gotta hold the seal. Alright, ready? Alright. Paint gone. All it did was just take the ink off of it. Paper's perfectly fine. All right, let me turn these on. Now, the reason why I wanted to show this, this simple demonstration is because um, I've had uh, some uh, shop owners come to me and say that they had somebody come around with a laser and they blew a hole through it or they had a burnt mark on the back and so forth. Uh, that's because they had the wrong laser, they had the wrong technology, and they definitely had the wrong technician if they're trying to sell you on the idea of their service. All right, what you have to have is a a precise, finely tuned laser and a, and a highly skilled technician. And that's what you're going to get here at Aircraft Laser Services. Now, the reason why this is also important because doing demonstrations and doing tests on uh, on-site work can save 50% on labor costs and 50% on your consumables, your sandpaper and all that, or your labor. We've, done a, we've run a test. Um, so anyway, if you're interested and want a free consultation in how this works and if it may be a right fit for you, uh, go on my website, aviationlaser.com, and fill out the form. You can upload pictures. You can type in what, uh, whatever your project is and schedule a time. That we can do a face-to-face -face video call, and I can explain it to you and see what you, uh, see what you think and see if it's a good fit. All right, well, anyway, I just wanted to get this demonstration out, and thank you for watching, and 